Plants are living things and have different parts. These parts can help plants get what they need to live and grow. Leaves help plants catch sunlight, which they use to make food. Stems help plants stand up. Some plants have really big stems. Others are small. Roots keep the plant in the ground. They also collect water. There are a lot of plants that have some really unique parts that help them stay alive. Let's look at some. Did you know that there are some trees, like this giant sequoia, that keep their seeds safe in a cone? These seeds can not only live through a forest fire, but are actually only let out of the cone during the heat of a fire. Once released, the seeds can grow into new trees. This is a pitcher plant. Pitcher plants have a pitcher or cup-shaped leaf that is filled with a slippery, sweet-smelling juice. Insects are attracted to the smell. When they come to take a sip, they fall into the pitcher and cannot get out. Then the plant uses the insects for food. Some plants, like pine trees, have needles. This helps the plant because the needles don't lose water as quickly as typical leaves do. Ouch! Have you ever touched a thorn on the stem of a rose? Some plants have thorns to protect themselves from predators that may cause them harm. Like a hungry animal looking for food. Have you ever seen a water lily? Their roots and stems are underwater, but their leaves float on top of the water to catch as much sunlight as they can. Water lilies have flexible stems so that they don't break as the water moves them. Look at this huge flower. This is a corpse flower. It is one of the world's largest and smelliest flowers. This flower smells really bad. The reason this plant smells so bad is to attract bugs. The bugs help spread the flower's pollen. This helps the flower make offspring. Do you see all of the little dots on this plant's leaves? This is a Cape Sundew plant. It covers its leaves in a very sticky, sap-like substance to trap insects. This type of plant uses insects for food. After the insect is stuck to the leaf, the plant will wrap its leaf around the insect. This plant is called a Cliff Indian Paintbrush. It grows on cliffs. The roots of the Cliff Indian Paintbrush grow until they touch the roots of other plants. Then they attach their roots and take some of the other plant's nutrients. Whoa! There are so many plants that have really amazing parts to help them live and grow. The next time you see a plant, look at it and see if you can figure out how the different parts are helping it survive.